Welcome to Reading the Bible with Pastor. Today we're on Psalm 22. This psalm is really important for us Christians, and I'll give you a hint. I'm going to read from Matthew chapter 27, starting at verse 45. Now from the sixth hour there was darkness over all the land until the ninth hour. And about that, the ninth hour, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, lemma sabachthani, that is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And some of the bystanders hearing it said, This man is calling Elijah. And one of them at once ran and took a sponge, filled it with sour wine, and put it on the reed, and gave it to him to drink. But the other said, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to save him. And Jesus cried out again with a loud voice, and yielded up his spirit. The significance of this psalm is that these are the words spoken by Christ right before he dies, here in Matthew. And as we read this, you'll notice that it talks um, about how a man, Jesus, is so stricken, beat up, and worn down by the people, but does this for the salvation of all. To the choir master, according to the doe of the dawn, a psalm of David. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from saving me, from the words of my groaning? O oh my God, I cry by day, but you do not answer, and by night, but I find no rest. Yet you are holy, enthroned on the praises of Israel. In you our fathers trusted. They trusted, and you delivered them. To you they cried and were rescued. In you they trusted and were not put to shame. I am a worm and not a man, scorned by mankind and despised by the people. All who see me mock me. They make mouths at me. They wag their heads. He trusts in the Lord. Let him deliver him. Let him rescue him, for he delights in him. Yet you are he who took me from the womb, you made me trust you at my mother's breast. On you I was I cast from my birth, and from my mother's womb you have been my God. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, and there is none to help. Many bulls encompass me. Strong bulls of Bashan surround me. They open wide their mouths at me, like a ravening and roaring lion. I am poured out like water. And all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax. It is melted within my breast. My strength is dried up like a potsherd, and my tongue sticks to my jaws. You lay me in the dust of death. For dogs encompass me. A company of evildoers encircles me. They have pierced my hands and feet. I can count all my bones. They stare and gloat over me. They divide my garments among them, and from my clothing they cast lots. But you, O Lord, do not be far off. O you, my help, come quickly to my aid. Deliver my soul from the sword, my precious life from the power of the dog. Save me from the mouth of the lion. You have rescued me from the horns of the wild oxen. I will tell of your name to my brothers in the midst of the congregation. I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you offspring of Jacob, glorify him, and stand in awe of him, all you offspring of Israel. For he has not despised or abhorred the affliction of the afflicted, and he has not hidden his face from him, but has heard when he cried to him. From you comes my praise in the great congregation. My vows I will perform before those who fear him. The afflicted shall eat and be satisfied, those who seek him shall praise the Lord. May your hearts live forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord, and all the families of the nation shall worship before you. For kingship belongs to the Lord, and he rules over the nations. All the prosperous of the earth eat and worship before him, shall bow down all who go down to the dust, even the one who could not keep himself alive. Posterity shall serve him. It shall be told of the Lord to the coming generation. They shall come and proclaim his righteousness to a people yet unborn, 
that he has done it. And yes, he has done it. He has given his righteousness to us through the Son and his death. And we read about that also if we take a look back at uh, verse 16 through 18. They have pierced my hands and feet. The crucifixion there. Count all my bones. They stare and gloat over me. But crowd around Christ as they mocked him. They divide my garments among them. And for my clothing they cast lots. That happened to Jesus. His clothing was taken from him and they cast lots for it. For it. As we read earlier, you saw that there was a lot of animals being talked about uh, coming after uh, this person. And we'll point to Jesus here. The people are acting like beasts in the way they're treating Christ. They are putting him to death uh, for, their own, for their own sake, for their own evilness. But God will take that death done by evil hands and make it to be our salvation. And just as David writes in this psalm, that from you comes my praise in the great congregation. The afflicted shall eat and be satisfied. Your hearts will live forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord. And all the families of the nations shall worship before you. Truly, truly, the death of Christ here mentioned and prophesied by David, David comes fulfilled with Christ on the cross and is our salvation. He took on the beatings, whippings, mockings, and all of this pierced for our transgression so that we would be healed. We'll pick up next time with Psalm 23. As always, please subscribe to the channel and share this with others so that they may also read the Bible with Pastor.